ladies and gentlemen, one of your own, but a leader in a room full of leaders with generosity and a touch of envy. Would you please salute, yes, the Euro Money Banker of the Year 2013, a great man with a great achievement. It's the Chief Executive of Lloyd's Banking Group, Antonio Horta Osorio. Well done. Congratulations. Banker of the Year. Well, congratulations to Antonio and all of our winners tonight. And let's hear it for Giles Brandreth and the Oompa Brass, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for your kind words. I am truly honored to be receiving this award tonight and very proud of the team which made this possible. I'm happy that my wife and daughter are here. I am immensely grateful to my family for their support to what has been, at times, a difficult journey. I can honestly say Euromoney is the finest financial publication in the world. <laughs> and it is run by a knowledgeable and very insightful team, <laughs> particularly in your selection of this year's awards. These are tough times to be working in our industry. We are, quite rightly, having to earn back the trust of the public. That's a responsibility we all share. I care very deeply about the industry I have worked in for the last 25 years. We are all temporary guardians of the history and heritage of the banks we work for. Our responsibility is to make a meaningful contribution to society and to hand on to the next generation and the industry which is in the best possible shape. For me, that means demonstrating through words and actions that banks can be, once again, the engines for economic growth. It means helping individuals, households, businesses, and communities to prosper. As I have said many times, a healthy economy needs healthy banks, and healthy banks need a growing and vibrant economy. They are inextricably linked. I am genuinely proud of what we have achieved as a team at Lloyd's over the past two years. In returning Lloyd's to full private ownership, we will have contributed to a significant chapter in its history and re-establish the bank as a great British institution. When I look back at the scale of the challenge we faced in March 2011, when I was appointed CEO, it is clear that we have come a long way. We are ahead of our schedule to transform the group, having made great progress in delivering the strategy we set out in June 2011. And we have put the bank back to profitability, delivering strong and sustainable returns to shareholders. I am acutely aware, too, that despite the recognition we are receiving tonight, our job at Lloyd's is not finished. We still have a lot to do to return the bank to full private ownership. And even then, I believe we will only be at the end of the beginning. My colleagues will attest to the fact that I am prone to reminding, to reminding them regularly that we should not be complacent. We have to continue to deliver for our customers by being good at what we do best, which for us is retail and commercial banking. I am very confident that we will achieve our goals. Above all, we have a great team 
that is committed and passionate about delivering for our customers. Together, we will restore Lloyd's as a great business and a great name in banking. Thank you for this great honor. Ladies and gentlemen, Euromoney's Banker of the Year, the Chief Executive of Lloyd's Banking Group, Antonia Horta Osorio. Well, that concludes the awards, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the after-dinner bar, which is now open on the balcony with our next act for this evening, Finsbury. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to celebrate and circulate. Good night.